Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to improve the speed at which your computer boots. Now what does booting mean? Booting means starting computer when it's shut down all the way to uh, what you can do and use your computer on your desktop. Now it's important to process when the computer boots. Basically it will check all its hardware. Once it's found all its hardware and it's happy, it will load the operating system. And as the operating system is loading, before you can access anything, it will try to load its default files. Some things like um, what you see, the interface, the explorer window. This is the explorer.exe program. It needs to load before you can use it. But there's also some programs that try to open and can take some time, especially if your computer is not as powerful as um, you'd like it to be. So there's a couple of things you can do to make it faster. I'm going to click on the start menu and you want to come here and type msconfig. It's important you need administrator rights to be able to change these settings. If you go on startup, you can see everything that your computer will want to start. Since this is a fresh install of Windows with just a couple programs, there's only a couple things that are trying to be started when the computer starts. So Apple Push and iTunes are both things that um, are required when you plug in your iPod for syncing or when you want to have some updates. Um, if you start iTunes, these programs will be started at the same time as iTunes is started. So if I don't want to use iTunes, then I don't really want these programs to start because it takes some computer processing power out of uh, your system. So I don't need those. Um, this is a fairly small list, only five items. You will find that some computers, especially brand new store-bought computers with pre-installed software and pre-installed operating system will have up to 50 different programs starting. If you're not sure what they do, you can just Google the startup item names. Sometimes it can be confusing. Usually the first thing that comes up is going to tell you what it is and what does it do. Um, personally, I'm just going to uh, leave the Microsoft Security Client open. All the rest I don't need to open at the start. Actually, I'll leave Dropbox because I want it to sync if ever there's anything new. And once I'm satisfied with this, I'll click apply. OK, it's going to ask me to restart my computer for these changes to take effect. So I will gladly click restart. And it's important when the window, re uh, when we come back into Windows, we're going to have to click a checkbox to make sure that that little notification disappears so we are not brought back to our startup menu and we don't have to reboot our computer. So if you want, what you can do is just start your computer, time it. Um, a thing I like to do is just as soon as it shows up, put your password, log in, and um, you start to start watch. You stop watch when you turn on the computer and you stop it when you do right click and the menu appears. Usually that's when your computer is fairly ready to be used. Um, try it without doing the EMS config trick then what you can do is you can turn off everything or what you want to turn off and then you can retry uh, to time yourself and see what the difference is. Obviously, it's, this will not make your computer that much more faster, but it will help um, if you feel that your hardware is not as powerful as um, you'd like. Obviously, you don't need to load every single program uh, by default. You can do that when you click. That's why when you click a program the first time you open it, it's usually slower to open. So if I click to start iTunes, I don't know, maybe it's gonna take about five seconds. Okay, I'd say maybe four. If I close it and I open it again, it's gonna be much faster because all these little programs that I stopped from starting uh, at boot, at computer boot, had to load and now they're loaded into memory. And when I close it, these programs are still loaded because I asked, I opened iTunes before, and so now I can start much, much faster. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please make sure to check out our channel, subscribe, and like our video if you appreciate these kind of videos. You can also check out our website. Thanks for watching.